Hello children. Today we are going to learn about the splendid state Sikkim. The history of Sikkim, an area in present day northeast India, began in 1642. It was a kingdom ruled by kings when India and Nepal were still princely states under many rulers. The Bhutia are a community of Sikkimese people of Tibetan ancestry. They began entering the area of Sikkim from Tibet in the 14th century. When the Kingdom of Sikkim was established in 1642, Phun Song Namgyal, who was the first Chogyal, which is the title for Buddhist kings, came from the Bhutia community. His dynasty ruled Sikkim until 1975. Finally, Sikkim became a part of India in the year 1975. We can see how Sikkim is nestled between the countries of Nepal and China. The state is spread over an area of 7096 square kilometer. The state animal of Sikkim is the red panda and the state bird is the blood pheasant. The state flower of Sikkim is the dendrobium nobile and the state tree is the rhododendron nevum. The official languages of the state are English, Nepali, Sikkimese, and Lepcha. Additional official languages include Gurung, Limbu, Magar, Mukia, Nevari, Rai, Sherpa, and Tamu. Nepali is the primary language of Sikkim, while Lepcha and Sikkimese are also spoken in some parts. English is also spoken by the people of Sikkim. Sikkim is one of the few states in India to receive regular snowfall. It is also the most humid region in the whole range of the Himalayas because of its proximity to the Bay of Bengal and direct exposure to the southern monsoon. Now, let's learn about the people and culture of Sikkim. The people of Sikkim consists of three ethnic groups, Lepcha, Bhutia and Nepali. The native Sikkimese consists of the Bhutias who migrated from the Kham district of Tibet in the 14th century. Tibetans reside mostly in the northern and eastern reaches of the state. There are various colorful and unique festivals celebrated in Sikkim every year. Let's find out about some of them. Some of the most popular festivals in Sikkim are as follows. The Labab Dungeon Festival represents the descent of Lord Buddha from heaven. La means heaven and Bab means descent. This festival takes place on the 22nd day of the ninth lunar month every year. The Saga Dava Festival is a celebration of Lord Buddha's birth, enlightenment and salvation from the material world. The Mahayana Buddhists gather in temples to pay their respect to their Supreme Lord. The Losa festival is the festival of the Tibetan New Year, which is perhaps the most enthusiastically celebrated festival of Sikkim. This harvest festival is marked by the charm and other traditional dances. People visit the monasteries for rituals before venturing out for celebrations. Family and friends greet each other with flowers as they gather for their celebrations. The Pang Lap Sol pays tribute to Mount Kanjan Janga, Sikkim's guardian deity. It commemorates the oath of blood brotherhood between the Bhutia and Lepcha communities. The locals and visitors are treated to graceful dance performances by the monks, but the Pang Toad charm is the highlight. Another great festival of Sikkim Lasung festival is celebrated on the occasion of the end of the harvest season and at the end of the 10th month of Tibetan year in the rural Sikkim. During this festival, the charm dances by the people of Sikkim are performed. Sikkim is known for not only its natural beauty, but for its art and craft too. The cultural richness of Sikkim is visible in its quality handicrafts and handlooms like carpets, wood carved furniture, 
tanka paintings and canvas wall hangings. Sikkimese carpets are especially known for being hand knotted with artistic designs. One of the most famous art forms of Sikkim is tanka painting. The culmination of Tibetan Buddhist art, tankas are pictorial religious scrolls. Most often hand painted with mineral colors and gold dust, traditional tankas were also embroidered. Now let's look at some rare objects that you can find in Sikkim. These objects are a must buy as a souvenir when visiting Sikkim like the woolen carpets, traditional singing bowls and prayer flags. Dance and music play a vital role in Sikkim culture and traditions. The three ethnic communities of Sikkim, which include Lepcha, Bhutia and Nepalese, constitute the folk dances and songs, which are an important part of Sikkimese culture. This music and folk dances relate to the beauty of the natural surroundings, depicting the harvest season of Sikkim and are performed for good luck and prosperity. The most fascinating form of ritual dance that is performed in Sikkim is Cham, which involves colorful masks and amazing musical instruments. Performers dress in painted masks, ceremonial swords, sparkling jewels, and dance on the rhythm of the drum and horns. Some other famous dances are Chu Fat. Literal meaning of Chu is snowy range, while that of Fat is worship. This group folk dance is performed in the honor of Mount Kanchenjunga, the guardian deity of the Sikkimese people. Tashi Sabdo is an age-old group dance which is beautifully and gracefully shows the customs of offering kadas on auspicious occasions. A Nepali folk dance Maruni, which is one of the oldest and most popular group dance form of the Nepali community, is usually performed by three male dancers and three female dancers. Let us now explore the variety of food from Sikkim. The food of the people of Sikkim indicates the culture of this state, which is a mix of India, Nepal, Bhutan, and Tibet. Sikkim food mainly comprises noodles, gundruk, and sinki soups, tukkas, tomato pickle, traditional cottage cheese, fermented soybean, bamboo shoot, fermented rice product, and some, and some other fermented dishes owing to its very cold climate. Momos, also known as dumplings, and wontons are favorites among the Sikkimese people as well as the tourists. Steamed and boiled food items are mainly found here with minimal use of local spices and herbs. Sikkim, in addition with its mountains and lakes, is known for its loaded flora and fauna. Sikkim has a rich variety of plants and animals. Sikkim has a large variety of blossoming plants along with the ferns and medicinal plants. The official flower of Sikkim is Orchid Dendrobium nobile. Wandas, Farmeri and Ammonum are some beautiful flowers from Sikkim. Sikkim is a home to several animal species including the Himalayan mammoth, Himalayan sero, musk deer, red panda, colored leopard, etc. Here are some pictures of some of the animals of Sikkim, Himalayan tar, red panda, and marmot. Now, let's learn about the Kanjan Zonga National Park. Located at the heart of the Himalayan range in northern India, the Kanjan Zonga National Park includes a unique diversity of plains, valleys, lakes, glaciers, and spectacular snow-capped mountains covered with ancient forests, including the world's third highest peak, Mount Kanchenjunga. It is noted for its spectacular wildlife like snow leopard, red panda, great Tibetan sheep, musk deer, etc. The national park comprises 18 glaciers, the most popular of which is the massive Zemo Glacier and 17 Alpine Lakes. Let us now visit some of the most beautiful tourist attractions of Sikkim. 
Sikkim is like wonder in a small package with bewitching meadows, snow-capped and sky-piercing Himalayas and the mesmerizing charm of its vibrant culture. Sikkim's improved connectivity with the rest of the country, even being landlocked with other sister states in Northeast, has resulted in attracting so many tourists every year. Let's have a look at some of Sikkim's famous attractions. Gangtok Gangtok is the capital of Sikkim. It's a great place to experience the thrilling cable car ride or go for paragliding to enjoy the beautiful views. Somko Lake is a glacial lake in Sikkim. The name Somko means source of water. Nathula Pass is a mountain pass in the Himalayas in East Sikkim district. It connects the Indian state of Sikkim with China's Tibet Autonomous Region. Nathu means listening ears and La means pass in Tibetan. Kanchanchanga Base Camp is far less visited by tourists and includes a wide range of wonderful scenery. One can enjoy a thrilling trekking experience there. La Chen, La Chung and Yamtang Valley are beautiful small towns surrounded by apple orchards, pine forests and waterfalls. And Pelling is a small town which has the late 17th century Buddhist Sangha, Choling Monastery, which features wall paintings, sculptures, and a gold-plated statue of Guru Padma Sambhava. Zuluk is a small hamlet in East Sikkim and is fast emerging as a new tourist destination. It derives its importance due to the excellent view of the eastern Himalayan mountain range, including the Kanchanjanga, Tista River. It's one of the largest tributaries of River Brahmaputra, which is often called the lifeline of Northeast India. River rafting is one of the most famous attractions of this river. Guru Dogmar Lake is probably the highlight among all the wonderful places in Sikkim. This lake is one of the highest altitude natural lakes in the world. This lake is spread out over 290 acres and is surrounded by snow-covered mountain ranges all around. You might even feel that the ranges are floating away on the lake itself. Goichala Goichala is a high mountain pass in Sikkim. The southeast face of Mount Kanchanjanga, the world's third highest mountain, can be viewed from the pass, which is also a base camp for those aspiring to scale the mountain. Goichala is one of the preferred destinations for trekkers in India. Trekking in Sikkim has its own charm with the flourishing valleys, beautiful orchards, massive collection of flora and fauna, rich forests and charismatic ambience that never fails to attract the visitors with its magnetic beauty. To learn more about Sikkim, visit the following link. Hope you had a fun time visiting Sikkim through this video. Thank you. Stay safe.